Hello YouTubers and welcome back to my channel. In my last video I took my Traxxas TRX4 with the hard trail lift kit uh, to it for its last run on my homemade quarter track and in that video I mentioned that I was going to sell it and I have done. It is now sold and in fact it was sold to a good friend of mine uh, because I wanted to get myself a element. I have tried them in the past and I uh, quite like them so now I've actually got one myself. So last weekend from the time of this recording I met up with him and a few other friends to go out and have a nice call with my element and with his new Traxxas 2X4 and a few, a few other callers at the time and I did all that off camera because I wanted to enjoy it. Um, so yes, I'm going to introduce you to it and see what mods he actually has done. Um, it's got a few mods to it, so it's not completely standard. But when I received it, it was mostly standard. Um, what the last owner did, he had fitted front and rear metal uh, bumpers to it, along with the antenna. Just at the back here, he had fitted that for me. I wondered the friends what came with us um, last weekend. He actually surprised me while buying these metal bead locks and tyres and had them fitted to my element without me knowing. And I'm very, very happy that he's actually done that because I fell in love with them instantly as soon as I saw them after I taken it out of the box. So I'm very happy that he's treated me and surprised me uh, by buying these for me. So I took it out with the bumpers and the wheels and tyres upgrade. And I must say, I instantly fell in love with the, with the Element Sandero HD. This thing's now, I love the way it performed. So, after this first one, I've changed a few more bits. Um, and I will show you once, I will show you the bits I have changed myself since after that first one. So, the other bits uh, I like about it is the front window wipers, just here. The wing mirrors, which can fold in. Well, when I'm at calling, um, I can fold them in and out, and so, but most of the time I fold them in, so I don't accidentally break them off when I roll it. The other thing is that the body clips just here are on a piece of string and mounted to this little metal post on the body. That's done front and the rear. That saves me losing them. Now, the amounts of body clips I've actually lost on trails. Uh, I've lost kind of how many I actually lost. So I'm very pleased that these are on the string. The other thing that the last I've done for me is fitted a interior and a driver. And I'm very happy with the way that actually looks with the driver. I've not actually owned one before with a full interior and driver. So as you like here, I do like how the flatbed at the back actually looks. It just sets it off. Along with this olive green colour as well. I like the way this actually looks in this colour because I think you can buy these in a red as well but I much prefer it in this colour. Before I take it, the budget off, one of the things I've changed myself since uh, when I took out for a test run is change the controller. The standard controller is fine but because I had spare receiver for this I love the way this uh, Flask Guy GT5 actually feels in my hand and the way this actually reacts with uh, my callers. So I fixed this to this and then took it out for a test drive with the new controller and I must say I'm very very happy of the, the way this actually performed with the Element uh, Enduro, uh, Sendero, sorry. So that's one of the mods I've personally done. Uh, so I'll take off the body shell and show you what else I've done as well. The other thing I've just remembered about the body shell, it has got full working lights at the front and lights in the bumper as well, and they do fully work. Go starts at the front and work the way back. Uh, so at the front, uh, there was nothing wrong with the standard steering servo, but I decided to upgrade it to a 25 kilogram red case servo. And again, I just had this sitting there in my drawer. Um, do nothing and I decided to fit it to my new element just to give it a bit more strength when I'm out calling and I must say I could tell the slight difference between this server and the standard one and I'm very happy that I fitted it 
And the person who bought me these wheels, uh, he also asked if I wanted a, a battery mount fitted just up here next to the steering zero. Now this I did know about, and he actually asked me if I wanted one made. And I said yes please. And so now I can now fit my short pack uh, 1500 mAh 3S battery pack at the front, just to give you a bit more weight at the front where I want it to be. But otherwise, if you didn't have that, there's a spare slot that you can fit a another servo, like a winch servo, that you can fit up there, right next to the steering servo. So there's actually two slots for a servo to fit there. Fit there. Moving on back uh, to the battery tray. This is where the battery normally mounts in the tray just here. But I'll just move it slightly bit more forward, just to give it a bit more edge on the weight side of things. But otherwise, I left the battery chair tray just there, just in case I want a slightly bit bigger battery for longer running time. Moving back to the ESC, I've still got the standard uh, ESC just here. And again, there was nothing wrong with this, um, but I decided to upgrade it to a Hobbywing 1080 just because I've got uh, experience with the 1080 and I'm very happy of the way this actually performs. So I fitted it. And again, I'm very happy of the way this ESC performs with this new element. Moving to the gearbox, it is a stealth uh, gearbox that it comes with it. But I can't remember what the overdrive is for the front. Uh, I can't remember what he said. But yeah, there's a slight overdrive to the front. But again, I can't remember what it was. I have stripped it down and had a look looksy in it. Just because I've never seen one before, like apart. So I took it apart, had a quick look see, and I'm very happy with the way it actually looks and actually just the way it works. So I re greased it after just wiping out a little bit of dirt within it and re greased it and put it back together again. The same with the front and rear axles, or the diffs as I say, just because I want to have a look at the gears and they're perfectly fine. The last owner did say he's barely used it. So I had all confidence that all the gears were perfectly fine. I just wanted to mainly to look at them and re-grease it. So that's all done. The motor is a 16 turn 5 slot uh, bust motor. Which is just sits just there. And I think it's a 540 can. Something like that. 540 or 550. I think I'm leaning more towards a 540 can though. And again... I like the way this performs, so I've got to use this motor uh, for a good while yet before I change it. And when I do change it, I will show you why I've changed it too. But for now, that's the motor I'm using. This side is the receiver box, and it's meant to be a waterproof receiver box. And I've fitted the receiver for my GT5, and it sits just in there. And looking at the box now, I love the way this actually looks. So, yeah, a very nice touch. And in the back, there's not much to say really, because uh, most of it is all at the front where I wanted it to be. So, really, at the back, it's just the standard shocks and the metal uh, rear bumper. And underneath, this, uh, it's all being the HD, it's got all the metal links, the front and rear, and the panhard bar as well, which is at the front, just there. And this little link. Just there. Excuse me. So yes, yeah, so all the links are metal instead of plastic, which I'm very happy about with the HD model. Is that it comes with all the metal links. So yes, I'm very happy with that. The shocks as well. Uh, before I forget, the shocks are completely standard. I haven't done the shock oil just yet, so it's still running the standard shock oil that comes with it. But I will change those. The shock oil to a thirsty weight thereabouts uh, but for now i'm happy with the way the shocks actually performs but at uh, some point in the future i will be changing those to a different set haven't fully decided but i'm leaning towards uh, desert lizards uh, at the moment so yeah i could be buying a set of those and fitting it to this so i've already uh, so in my next video i have taken it out to my Home recorder track and recorded the first run with all the upgraded bits I have done to it. So, 
I will see you in my next video of the running of this. And I will end the video just here. So I'll see you next time. Bye for now.